Legend of Total War here with part 31 of my Total War Warhammer Let's Play campaign as the Empire. Previously, we conquered Galboraz, which was a pretty massive, well, I wouldn't say it was a massive fight, it was a difficult fight, which we crushed them. I don't know if you guys would have actually enjoyed that one, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, some of you will, some of you won't, some of you appreciate the level of detail that went into preserving my men's lives and killing the enemy. Some of you will be like, oh, just rush in, or whatever, but whatever. Alright, so, it's a good region, let's build it up. Where's Grunty Mignol? Um, yeah, develop that one up. Okay, so... Jeez, we lost less men on this one than we did at Grunty, and that was... There were less quality troops in there, I'd say. Alright. Um, anyway, the trick to those kind of battles is if you can if you can manage to absolutely smash them in the beginning without taking too many losses, they just get shit scared and run away. Like if you like if I had sent in a big melee right from the right from the get go, um, they would have all fought to the death. But because none of my men were dying, this is why it's so good to use crossbows. Um, none of my men were dying, they yeah, they got terrified because they weren't doing any damage to me. Didn't take into account that I was running out of ammo. Or that Carl Franz was, you know, bleeding out his asshole pretty much. Alright, so our next stop, I want to come over here. I, command here. I know that they've got multiple armies though, I don't know how they're able to afford it. I don't want a peace treaty with them, I'm just curious. The thing is, they're chaos forces, and chaos forces are... I wouldn't say they're difficult, they're a nuisance to deal with. I don't like fighting them out in the field. Sort of like the way I feel about the Huns in the Total War Attila. I can't crush them with ease. Just due to the way they have their armies. Like they, I beat them, you know, on equal terms, just sometimes. Um, it's just not really... Good, alright, yeah, come over here, come over bad. Take this, it is for the best. and then you can be disbanded. Gives us another region. We've had this province in its entirety before, and Chaos destroyed it. I will marshal the men. So, is that all that's left of Varg? I mean, apart from their settlements. We also need to start thinking about whether or not we want to um, what does the Emperor bid? destroy or fight, uh, what's it called, the vampire counts. Oh, God damn it! Fuck that shit. Public order here is awful, but then again, of course, the vampires traditionally held that region. Well, not traditionally, but recently. Before Chaos, I think, tore it down. Now, how long do I have to wait here for before we can leave? Probably just a few more turns. Now. And this one here, the public order is good, despite the fact that we've still got three turns of Confederation penalty. The character bonuses, I think he's providing plus three, or maybe four. I'll just be patient with it. No point leaving and then having a revolt come and just undo all of our work there. Good, no one's bothered Varenka Hills since we started that construction. I don't really know what he's planning. I don't really care. That's right, I was going to raise another army, wasn't I? To, um, to counter this. If... I'm just thinking, in three turns... That'll go down below minus... That'll go b to plus one. And public order will be sorted. We can... We can defeat that with the defences we've got here. For sure. So maybe I won't build another army. Also, with that 
being built, that'll that'll save our public order a little bit more. Now, out of curiosity, does anyone have any more just traits? No, we're still at characters plus six, so only one person is just, and Carl Franz lost all of his, all of his injustice traits because he's been occupying settlements. It, that seemed to be what was doing it. Okay, you're at full strength. You can't just be... Well, actually, you do kind of need to sit here because of public order. To the provinces. It's going to be a revolt here soon. Thanks to bloody chaos corruption. Actually, I could prevent it with this. And just don't tax it. We can prevent it. Then again, it's not really a bad thing to have a revolt. This guy gets some experience. We want to get a bit of money out of it and get a military crackdown bonus, which we've already got here. Well, whatever. All right. Don't seem to be able to do anything else. Let's move on to the next turn. Okay. I don't. I really don't need you here. Why don't we? Cleanse the empire. Why don't we send you up? Up this way. You can help me up the, up here. Okay, moving on. They're going for Gorgazan. I don't really care about missions usually. The rewards are usually just awful. It's like 1,000 gold, which will buy you nothing. Okay, the thing is, if we come over this way, we're probably going to take attrition. Also, don't forget that the settlement's probably going to be just as bullshit as this one. Come to this point. Oh, good. No one's there. Agreed. Let's get a little bit closer. Alright. Oh, hang on. They've, they've conquered out this way as well. Oh, that shit. So let's have a look at what's here. Yeah, they've got one of those chieftains hall here. So they're fucking up the whole bloody region. Because I can't get rid of that. Public order here seems pretty good. They've left a bit of stone mine now. Don't bother repairing that until that's reached level 2, because technically we're not supposed to have a level 2 um, building that. Public order seems alright. Get that going. Oh, hey, uh, yeah. Yes, my lord. Okay, our forces are almost... A, this one's a full strength. Maybe we should go back to war with uh, the Greenskins because they've uh, carved out a bit of a bit of a kingdom for themselves. If we were to do so, no one's gonna really care. No one likes them. I've got to get out of the Badlands though. Maybe I'll make my way over to Crooked Fang Fort instead. It's risky to force. M oh, I've already force marched. Whoops. Doesn't matter. To the you got a bit of stone mine, just wait there. So with him having left the province, public order did go a little bit to shit. But that's okay. Where are they going? We we're just trying to look for one undefended settlement. Well, here it is. Whatever, if he takes it, so so what? I want to send you down here. I think it's best we just, you know, concentrate on wiping out the, um, well, wiping out the dwarves before we go after the, um, the vampire counts. I might indeed actually raise another army now. Okay, this guy looks like I would have leveled him up, but I'm not certain. 
He's got four campaign skills. No, it couldn't be me. This guy, I think I did. All right. All right, you're going to get... Here's our first great sword army. All right, then. So look at our local recruitment compared to global recruitment. Okay, so recruit in local the things that I will. are the most expensive. Okay, if you're going to fight the dwarves, guns aren't really the way to go. I mean, they are good on the field, but I'm thinking for settlements. Well, we just won't use you for settlements then. Maybe for field battles. We also need cannons. Two of those, and Reich's Guard, two of those. Wait, if you, if you find them out in the field, we don't need cannons. We need more Reich's Guard. Pistolis, can we get Outriders? No. It's okay, I didn't really want them. That's six of these. How many is that? Six. Okay, that'll all get done in four turns. Funny thing is, though, I could just use global recruitment to recruit it in the same amount of time. But the thing is, global recruitment costs more than than local. So four turns, and then Sami's ready to go. And that bankrupted me. But that's okay. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. So just move on. All good, moving on. So we've got a huge income at the moment. 33,000, so. I mean, there's still a lot of a lot of things to construct. The more regions we take, the more money we make, so on and so forth. But yeah, we just need to get a move on, so another army would would help us get things done. Ah, uh, fuck them! They take this settlement, they probably just end up stacking it, and then I go take the other one. Back and forth, back and forth. How annoying. Don't let them take I see no other take Gronti or whatever it's fucking called. No peace, just war. Just swoop by swash uh swapped regions. It's in a different spot. Still can't destroy it. I think we do need to send you back over here to fight them. I should be able to beat them out in the field. Yeah, start to take. Start to. Oh, fuck. It's time to start taking these regions out there. Um, over here. Yep, extra melee defense is good. Armor is better, but can't get any more of that. Okay, if you come and stand here, you'll take a little bit of attrition getting there, but at least you'll replenish somewhat. Okay, public order here is actually not as good as I thought it was, so we'll have to put in that. We've only got one more turn of the confederation penalty. Anyway, all of the empire factions have been absorbed or destroyed, but we haven't got the whole empire. Like, um, I think Ostland is not fully under our control. Ostermark, that's it. Ostland is under our control. The Empire. Alright, now what? 
Yep, make ready to go take Crooked Fang Fort, which is not well defended, so that'd be an easy order resolve though. Yeah, they see they've still got those stupid sparring fields. Everywhere they go they put that shit down. Okay, and over here. Public order is now stable here. Okay, tax it. And let's go. Where am I gonna send you now? Do you reckon you can come and beat um beat him? He's got a lot of uh cannons, but that's not necessarily the size of, um, the sign of his strength. A lot of missile units, not too many melee units. Alright. Yeah, come down here. Yeah, we'll see if we can beat him. Otherwise he's gonna cause me some sort of trouble. So four turns and then these guys will be available. Not too concerned by that unless they decide to starve us out. Why don't we just check to see if we can resolve war. this? No. They better make the attack enough to starve me out. But then again, if we've got those walls, eight turns until it starves out. Uh, until it begins to starve out. Be gone. I need to start getting over there before the bloody dwarfs do. Okay, if you were to leave the province here and not tax it, we should be okay for a little while. Right, so force march just for the time being. Take a bit of attrition, there's nothing in the world. If we can get to the altar of spawn soon, we can re recover from there. Funny, we've had this province longer, but we haven't got the public order under control here. Of course, I did just not tax that. If I did the same thing with this one, I probably could sort it out. Yeah, just, just leave it like that for now. Everything's moving into position. Alright, let's just spend the last of our money and then move on. There we go. And we're done. Betchafen has a revolt. I don't think I'll be able to stop that. It's Vastra. Ah, fuck. I shouldn't have bloody... Whatever. It doesn't matter. I shouldn't have taken this region while the vampires hold most of it. Hurry up already. Just, just writing that one off. Let us forge our faith. We don't need growth here, so keep moving. Yes, son of Sigma. Ah, my faith burns bright. Yeah, just keep building everything up here. The province is almost fully built up. The thing is, even if we let them take that region back, they'll never destroy their own buildings. So there's no way for me to get rid of this. Oh, they're sending an army out this way. So if I came back over here, they'll just retake this. Well, that's irritating. Oh, 
I'm still going to send my forces back here anyway. Oh, fucking bloody attrition everywhere. Just gonna find a spot where he doesn't take it. Well, you know what? Just take the goddamn attrition. And then we'll we'll figure something out. Looks like the greenskins want to get there before me. Yes. No. Bitch. Mine. Kill you another day, orc. Agreed. Alright, some rich territories out here. I just hope they haven't been touched by the, uh, fucking Bjornlings. Usually they get wiped out very early. I guess the, the powers in the area here decided to let them bloody fester. Alright, where's that turd fucking Ungrim? He's probably getting ready to ambush us, the prick. Nope, there he is. Maybe he wants to um, occupy that settlement. By all means, do that. While you're doing that, I'm going to take all this shit. Two more turns and we're done here. I think, no. I think yes. What's the question? To the provinces. Tell me you can make it there by regular march. Yes. No. Alright. Just use up half of your movement points and in camp. Because we're in our own region, we um, replenish quite quickly. What do you require? All right, let's build stuff and then move on to the next turn. Kind of keen to fight the vampire council. We need to dedicate, you know, more than just one army to it. So let's not fight them just yet. Okay, so we can repair this stuff now. Public order here will be stable as soon as we build that. Yes. Right now, where are the other revolts? Okay, the the other thing's gone. How long has that been like that for? Oh, shit, amount of money. All right, cancel that. There's no one going to besiege anytime soon. Okay, that'll keep it under control. What are we doing with you? You should probably get over there and try and stop that. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do. Let's move on. <laughs> Every fucking they see it at level three, like boom, sack it time. Who knows? Maybe they'll occupy it this time. They got a lot of heroes in this. Yeah, they'll just sack it. It's probably just a, they see it as a source of income for them. Still gonna lose the war. The thing is that they might make a bit of money out of that, but they're losing out on a lot of other things. Alright, so what's going on here? Marienburg. Oh, I'm glad they're making this attack quite early. The odds are in our favor. We could order resolve this, but I'll find it manually because that'll be more interesting. Could quite be the first time in this whole campaign that we've actually had access to great swords. All 
Alright then, so... Putting these guys here I think is ideal. As they come in through here, they're gonna get wrecked. So what do they got here? Chaos Warriors. I have the Great Swords there. And then they can only come through this gate here. Just have these guys stand there. Um, the knights stand behind them. Don't really know what to do with them. Okay, and start blowing shit up. Oh yeah, they're gonna get destroyed because we've got explosive shots. I forgot that the towers have been built up. Yeah, siege towers won't do shit now. You need to be like fucking five siege towers every one of these. Well, two. Come on, blow it up. Okay, so that's one of them now. This one might get there. Yeah, that'll make it. It's going right into the middle of it. That's okay. Good, they got blown up. Ladders are nothing now, bitch. God, these towers are so overpowered. A full kale stack hasn't even touched us yet. How do you take any damage? Oh, um, they got like artillery or something that they use because it's like. I don't know. I got a couple of kills, nothing major, that's fine. So where'd the ladders dock on our walls? Yeah, good luck against great swords. These are Chaos Warriors, and our guys are winning. People keep asking me to zoom in. I really don't see the point, but there you go. Like, it's just a brawl. What's so interesting about this, seriously? Ooh, look at the pretty graphics. Boring. Fuck off. I don't know, but for me, this is a hell of a lot more interesting than this. Oh, hang on, our guns are under attack here. See, this is why you don't zoom in. Fucking guns are under attack. So that being said, they're not doing too badly against them. Battle will probably be over soon. Man, the um, the great swords really kick ass against them. What kind of bonus versus infantry do they have? It's only ten, but still, that's better than nothing. Awaiting orders. Okay, 
Chaos Trolls, they just want to sit there. Ugly fucking creatures. Jeez, that guy's barely took any damage at all. Kicking Chaos Warriors' ass. I mean, these guys are the equivalent of Chosen. Chosen would probably do a lot of damage to them. The thing is, though, how are we going to hunt these guys down? Alright, I can't be bothered going any further than that. Heroic victory in which we really didn't do anything apart from setting it all up. I mean, it just doesn't take into account those towers. You know what I reckon? They should make a total war where the garrison forces, right? They can leave the area, they leave the settlement, but they can't leave the region. So you can tell the garrison to hit any any army that's in the area, in the region. Ugh, I should be in the, the campaign designer for the next Total War. It'll be so epic. Both graphically and strategically and tactically. Of course, I'm not a programmer, but I can at least tell them it should do this, and then they can figure it out from there. Uh, we don't want chaos corruption. I don't care about the money. So, they knocked it down a level, <laughs> destroying that entire chain that was there. Oh well, that happens. They're just going to keep doing it, it's fine. While they're, while they're doing that, they're going to lose regions that actually matter. Right, yeah, you make your way over here. And you make your way down here. So, Karak Asgirl, they have built up. The, the defense is there. Oh man, that's going to be just as hard as the other one. Maybe I should send him over here to help. I mean, that being said, um, what's his face was able to do is, you know, that's... I don't want to sit there for fucking 40 minutes doing another one, one of those battles. The thing is though, it's either do it that way or auto-resolve it. I don't particularly want to auto-resolve it. I see no other option. Come on, there's going to be somewhere I can stand where there's... Okay, there we go. Moving off. Onwards. I don't know where this guy's going, but wherever he's going, I want him to meet Carl Franz. They're probably coming over here. Doesn't matter. I think we just need another army to, to help deal with them. There's a lot of vampiric corruption here. We need to uh, we need to get rid of it by killing off the vampire accounts, but they're the number one faction and I'm currently a little bit busy. That being said, how busy are they? They're also fighting the dwarves. Well, whatever. Is our army ready? Our new army. Where is it? No, no, one more turn by the looks of it. Okay, now over here. Yes, my lord. Empire, yes. Oh, you're gonna be Come fucking on. kidding me. Oh, we'll get it next turn then. So, I'm looking for Marienburg here. Okay. No sign of public order issues here. So, they're not gonna get any reinforcements. So, they'll probably come back and make the attack, at which point we sally out and wipe them out. Could send them to go and finish them off, but I don't think we need to do that. These guys are going straight to go and fight dwarfs. Alright, what are we building?
A lot of regions have been finished, as far as their construction is concerned. So what do we need here? Um, is that smithy? Yeah. Public order is excellent here. This is mid and land, so we don't need any more of that. I guess go ahead and build another barracks. Fuck, like, I don't know what else to do with them. Okay, we can tax this region now. So why is there public order issues here? Still a lot of corruptive issues. It's going to go down to 23.1% eventually. It just takes a long time, that's all. And it'll go down to a 33%. But that being said, we haven't built the temple yet. We'll have to build it... We'll have to build it here, probably. It's fine. We're not, we're not getting these regions to get rich. Just getting them because... Well, because they're there. Alright, now, if I was to go and fight them... I don't know. Um, let's come out this way. Doesn't matter if we take heaps of attrition. It just doesn't matter. Because we'll just replenish it over time. Oh, okay. There's still a lot more areas to... Uh, to go and build. Okay, we're almost out of money now. Alright. You, you're coming down here to come and help deal with dwarves. Can't tolerate this horseshit anymore. Don't think so. Alright, moving on. Doesn't matter. Carl Franz is trying to outmaneuver these guys, but it's two armies versus one. We need to actually fight their army out in the field. They just sack it. Fine. I'll tell you what, though, it'd be good if if it gets sacked and it destroys that building. That would be good. But I mean, if you raise the settlement to the ground, it get destroyed. Let me just see. Still there. Why would I repair this shit? Fucking tell it to go go away. How do I demolish it? It's supposed to be a button here, but it's just this is not. I mean it's not the game's fault because obviously it's because of the mod. Not even supposed to be here. Neither are they. I'm gonna just chase them down wherever they go. That's what we're gonna do. If we can kill them off, I think they're gonna really struggle to recruit new troops. Don't need to fight this manually. By Sigma's right. Good. By the comet. And then Karak Asgal. I don't want to do this one again like this. I'd rather order resolve it. It just takes too long. It is war. To, to repeat of the previous what fight. I'll send them to come and help over here a bit later on. Uh, uh, like, after um, after next turn, just send them over here to help. If they attack Galbaraz, they will lose, I think. Anyway, I don't think they've got artillery with them.
Okay, so you can reach them. Can you beat them, though? We're probably going to take a beating, but I think we can beat them. Oh, but you don't have an eagle. A lot of heroes. They've got two runesmiths. Runesmiths can be very dangerous. Do they have that ability? Looking for a rune of ruin. It's fucking nasty. They don't have it. Okay, good. Um... Just thinking how best to go about this. Just fucking attack. Our cannons have greater range than theirs. And we have cavalry. I need to use my cavalry to hit their uh, cannons. Things I have less cannons than them. They've got some higher tier units than mine. We'll make do. We'll just see what happens. Also got a fly unit. Alright. Need to just make sure that our cannons are only just in range. Because ours is 450 range and theirs is 420. So even that's just not quite enough, just a little bit more. Okay, they're in range of their cannons there, so we can probably start shooting them right off the get-go. Get behind the cannons on this one. You stay well on the wings, but also stay well back. We don't want them getting smashed. Okay, I want you to go and just annoy them for the time being. Looks like only one of my cannons is going to shoot, but it's still better than nothing. If they want to take a defensive position, fine, we'll outrange them. I don't really want to be shooting their cannons, it's the units behind the cannons that I want to shoot. If I can get their cannons to shoot at uh, Balthazar, it's a very small target, but it's going to be hard for them to hit him. But that being said, they're just sitting there. This is going actually really well. Just sit there shooting right out of range. Good, one of their cannons got destroyed. That's always a bonus. Uh, I want to see what's going on over here. Stupid restrict camera. That being said, we've also got magic. So we've got transmutation of... Oh, hang on. Wasn't there something that affects... Causes damage to combatants. Strong versus single combatant. Duration 9 seconds, okay. Find their heroes, these guys here, because it does damage, like, to multiple units, but it's best against single units. So let's see how much damage that does to them. It doesn't need to do heaps, but while we're here, we might as well use magic. Yeah, it's not too bad. Because, you know, it affected multiple units. Oh yeah, but it costs like fucking 15 magic. Okay, they've given up on, on waiting around. Good for them. How many kills we get? Good's even affecting them. Now the cannon's actually firing back. So we'll get in there and stop them if we can. I think they're shooting their own troops as well. Just 
gonna stop them from shooting because you see they've already done, already done a lot of damage. Use this, doesn't that count for that much damage. Get over here, you two. This is working out really well. I mean, he's taking a bit of damage, but it's fine. Okay, move. They're destroying their own uh, fucking cannons. While they're, while they're bloody shooting at Balthazar, the cavalry is coming around their flanks to fuck up their missile units. While their melee units are going to get fucked up by my missile units. this, get back, you guys, get ready, and attack. I think this battle's going very well so far. Oh, Iron Breakers, oh, I you. Oh, it's miners with blasting charges. Oh, Rex is so hard. You need to shoot them. Everything was going so well until they did that. So many of them have that as well. But we're smashing them here at least. At least they've only got so much ammo here. Um, shoot that. Fucking hell. Shoot those iron breakers. Click charge into there because I don't think he's winning that. Still winning. It's just you know, it's a it's a bit of a brawl. How'd they go for kills? Considering the range advantage we had at the beginning, that was not really that many. Oh look, um, Belzer's I can deal with that. Get over here, finish them off. One of their cannons is still active. We'll stop to that. The Reichsguard did an excellent job on this. They're very good at taking out missile units. Balthazar, well done to you. You actually did a good job on this one. Um, pick a good target. How about him? The good thing is, because we do actually have cavalry, we can run them down afterwards. He's not very good in melee, but that's okay, he lasted long enough. We won't be able to prog uh, progress onto um, Karazak Iraq, but at least we've defeated this army, punished them for their, uh, their raiding and sacking. Damn looters. Now we need to kill these these guys off as well. I'll just pause the recording as I run these guys down. Okay, well I did what I could and I managed to kill their lord. So we'll punish that prick. However many levels he had managed to get, which once again I forgot to check, he's now dead. Overall, a very good result I think. And it's all just about using what advantages you have, knowing your strengths and weaknesses, and using it against your opponents. 
I mean, those blasting charges did a lot of, you know, health damage, but they didn't kill that many of my troops, so a lot of the guys that got smashed, they're still alive. I keep doing that, obviously, because um, I don't want them to get injustice traits. By the comet. I just want to resolve this to get rid of it entirely, and also get rid of all these, these agents of theirs. I want to check what levels they are, it doesn't matter. I'd love to go and hit Karaza Karak, but obviously we're not in any shape to do that right now. However, because we did that to them, their ranking has gone down badly. The old alliance is dead, so don't come here asking for. Oh, I don't want any favors. I want you to die. Fuck the Greenskins. They were at the brink of destruction. Give them a few turns and they're back to near full strength. Oh well, we'll deal with them in due time. Alright, so we finished researching something. I still use swords every now and again. Armor for great swords, Empire of Knights, Rock Sword. Okay, yeah, so that'll be good for great swords because we're starting to get some of those now. Now, I believe we've got an army here that's now ready to move out. Yeah, I'm in the wrong spot. Alright, so your job is to go and do exactly what Balthazar Gelb did and go and kill people. Now, we don't have artillery, so that's one disadvantage that we have. But if we come up against armies with artillery, that's why I've got extra Reich's Guard. Not to mention these handgunners. Well, they're, they're low level at the moment, but um, we'll see what we can do with them. You know, and actually, I really wouldn't mind actually going to hit the, the vampire counts. I know that they're very strong. Now we should not take that risk. It's probably better off if we just concentrate our efforts on defeating the dwarves quickly, and then we can go and have our fun with the vampire counts. Didn't seem to put too much of a dent in our treasury at all, or our income, hiring that other army. What does the Emperor bid? Take up the pace? So. War calls! Yes. Good, another region for us. How many is that now? 86. Good, it's all getting there. Don't need to tax this region. We need to go and take more. So we need Winterpyre and Aislings Conclave. I, I still want to kill these guys. The thing is, the dwarves, they have um, a resistance to the cold. We don't. What's this? Is this a rebellion? Ah, oh, fuck me sideways. What does um, the Damn it. Alright, you can come and deal with this one first. We march. Raise your weapon. This is an easy win here. Okay, that buys us like one turn. They need to come back. Let us move. Sigma. Wait, to be honest, the garrison there should be able to beat them, but Let's not take any chances with that. I will marshal the band. How long will that take to staff out? Eleven turns. Raise your weapons. No, that's before it runs out of supplies. Ugh. I don't want to fight that battle though. I am Prince All right, and let's Emperor. build a few things. And then move on to the next turn. I'm not going to bother building siege equipment because I just don't feel like I need to. Hope you guys are enjoying the fact that, you know, I'm playing beyond long campaign victory. Well, hang on a second. We're, we never achieved um, campaign victory conditions. We never, because we never um, got rid of the vampire accounts. Right, never mind then. What am I doing? I was doing this stuff. Ok, 
Okay, this is at uh, Osterland. The public order's okay. Just get money in there for now. Talibur clan, public order's fine. We can tax that. Oh. They besieged this again. To war! Hopefully this wipes them out. Well, it didn't. I don't think. Unless it was... Yeah, it did actually. Because it was their second defeat. It wasn't second defeat of the turn, but I guess it keep, um, takes it into account. Anyway, moving on. Got to get him his, uh, his griffin. Because they're fucking awesome. Um, why would I repair this building? Seriously. Although that being said, it's actually providing Fight public order penalties. Nation. Whatever, I'll just do that so I'll shut up about it. Petition, but make no promises to act on. No, you guys are losing the war. Why would I want a peace treaty? Anything I care about, four thousand that's nothing to me. Still need to chase after this guy. My orders are to move. I feel like what we really need is multiple armies chasing after them because they're just they will not fight me out in the open. Ready. But as long as we're keeping them busy, then he's not raiding anywhere. These armies will eventually catch up with him. Now oh, it is for the best. Shit over there. Not in a single turn, I mean. Alright, we're approaching an hour, so I'll just make this game save. And we'll take a break there. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 32 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.